Hey, everybody, this is Rory McDonald from MacDon and Associates coming to you with the next episode of Tuesdays with Rory. I have a friend. I have a local business owner here in Michigan and a worldwide traveler, mm-hmm. Alexandria Folster. Uh, super pumped to have you in the studio, being a part of the podcast. Um, without further ado, I'm going to let you kind of explain who you are, what you're all about, um, and a little bit about your your business and what you're you're doing here in Metro Detroit. Amazing. So, yeah, like you said, my name is Alexandra. I go by Allie, not Alex. It's important for these people. That they love seeing Alexandra and ultimately assuming it's Alex. <laughs> it's probably the bane of my existence. <laughs> and so I put at the header of my Instagram, Allie, not Alex, to try to remind these people. And I still get people saying Alex. And they're like, wait, it literally says above. And I'm like, at least you realized after the fact that you're the idiot and not me. Well, good times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I am a creative director, photographer, film photographer to be exact. I don't really choose to shoot digital much any longer. I have been traveling the United States, lived in LA, lived in New York City, and just came back to Detroit after seven years of being gone. It feels so good to be back home, background family, background friends. But um, yeah, I'm pursuing a career in the artist industry in whatever (laughs) capacity that means, I guess. Yeah, Um, yeah. I chose photography and that just kind of fell into my lap. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. But uh, to, I know you're one to not to your own horn. So I will. <laughs> <clears throat> not only are you doing that, but you also are an artist, like just artist in general, right? Like that is your yeah. world and what it is you do. And um, part of it, and this is kind of the cool thing, why um, wh- when people come here and we we jump, before we jump on the podcast, we have the opportunity to just catch up and just yeah. kind of chat and get to get to know each other a little bit more. Um, but one of the things that I, I've said on the podcast on multiple occasions, when it comes to my business with real estate, the first and foremost thing that is most important to me is not necessarily selling a home, which surprises people, but it's the relationship and the experience when it comes mm-hmm. to selling and buying a home. Mm-hmm. Not everybody has a great experience, you know? And it was so, uh, I mean, breath of fresh air, honestly, you sharing kind of your heart behind that. And that's what I want to get into first is your heart behind when somebody reaches out to you or when you sit down with someone and you're, you're not just taking photos of them, right? Like that's, that's, this is a small portion of what it is that you do, which is so cool. You talked about the experience that exists when it comes to you taking photos of people. And I really wanted, if there's anything that people hear from this today, that is it, because I think it's incredibly important when it comes to you know, you picking a photographer for your own stuff, family photos, business photography, um, photos of your actual building or business mm-hmm. or whatever it might be. You, you don't want somebody who's just going to snap the photo and and cross your fingers, you get it back, right? right? Like there's an experience that exists within that. So if yeah. you could touch on that, that'd be, that'd be super cool. Yeah. Well, the experience honestly starts, I feel like from the moment you're looking at my art and you're going to see something that And this is words from other people that it just looks different. It feels different. There's something about it that doesn't have the same aesthetic energy vibe or that has to others. And I think for me, that stems from a space of wanting to create safety in that environment that allows that person to be seen and felt as their most authentic selves. And that stems because I want to have a space where I am seen and felt as my most authentic self. And I think that it's so special. Like we didn't even get into this, but at one point in life I was going to go to nursing school because I wanted to be a nurse and, and it was based on helping people. Yeah. I love people. I love helping people. But after like knowing the fact that you had to go to a school and do all that stuff. And I was like, no, that's not me. Like I found myself sitting across from the table for my sister being like, Allie, what do, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? And I said, photography. And for me, I think art and science kind of run a very similar line. And it was for me being able to work with somebody and meet their soul and meet who they are as a person and nourish that before I ever had to see them in a hospital. Mm. Because the way we think about the set ourselves and the way we present ourselves and the thoughts we put into our brain, like this is the most powerful organ we have, our brain. Mm -hmm. Neuroplasticity is so real. How do, how do I take all of the lessons I have given myself in trying to be a better person, trying to show up in a way that feels good, feels healthy, feels confident, and then create a space for somebody else to now do that? Yeah. 
because an image is a moment in time. It's not the full story. It's not the full thing. It's just that specific moment. But I want that moment to be rich. I want it to feel something. Yeah. I want to feel timeless. I've always wanted to create timeless art. And so for it to be timeless, that feeling needs to be there. And I don't really know how I got to that space to create that. I think it's just who I am as a person. And that's the beautiful part about different artistry is that that person is highlighting themselves mm -hmm. while also highlighting somebody else because a photo isn't just you. It's me. I'm the one who took it. I'm the one who saw it. This is yeah. my vision. This is what, what is coming through the, like the world, like being able to put out there. And so, yeah, it is so much about that energy. I don't really know how else to explain it. It's just a feeling that I have, like even like how to capture photos, like yeah. I'm going to wait for that perfect moment that it's like, that's what I'm looking for. And yeah. it's, it's not something I can explain. It's just what it's happening. Like I'm, I'm going to say something to create a different energy. I'm going to say something to create a different facial expression. I'm going to do something where I know like I'm going to get what I wanted in that moment. And I'm setting that space for it for and sure so yeah it is it's not about a photo for me it's like the last thing i care about in the long run like it's about how do you feel about you yeah no i think that that's i think that that's huge and i i, I mean um one of the things that like I, I i feel like needs to be said is your your ability to remove um in our world it seems like that and i see this a ton i talk to real estate agents i talk to other people other business owners i mean go down the list of people who are just like no, I, I just don't feel comfortable being in front of a camera. I just don't feel comfortable being yeah. in front of the video or whatever it is. And so, yeah. <laughs> and so therefore I'm not even going to bother with it. Right. Like I, I, we'll get family photos eventually when, when, when I feel better, when I feel better about it. And when I look better. Exactly. When, oh, I hate that. I hate those comments. I, I'm sure it comes up a lot. I'm sure. Yeah. I hear, I hear it from business owners who like you're, you're in a, you're in a three piece suit. What do you, what are you hiding? What, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is it? That, what's. What is it that you're trying to, what's the persona that you're trying to get, to get people to, to, to feel? And then how, I'll put it this way. It sounds like your ability to remove the uncomfortableness of that situation from somebody is what you thrive at. Yeah, I think there's, I've always felt that I'm able to meet somebody in their space. Sure. In their, in their thought processes, in where they're presenting themselves in that time. I think that's just who I am as a person. I think that's my part of my soul. Like I, I see people, I feel people like I, I want to, I want people to be able to look at themselves in like the most beautiful way because I've been able to finally look at myself in the most beautiful way. And yeah, there's, I guess you can go back to my brain is like circling like the thoughts because there's so many things going on, but like what that, what your exact point you're trying to put across is and if you can repeat that right now so i can like, come back around <laughs> no it's, it's 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 your ability to remove the uncomfortableness yeah when it comes to being in front of a camera quite honestly just by like you're saying i mean i'm reiterating a lot of the things that yeah. you already said it's just this I, isn't about the picture this is about me putting you first and having a conversation yeah. with you and making you feel comfortable so that i'm able to capture the moment when you're in your happy yeah. I had a client when I was in New York last who in one of her emails back because she wants to book me again. And this is the first time I was working with her. She's a DJ. And she was like, it was finally at the last part of this photo shoot and these looks where there was a there was an energy that was coming out within me that felt like this is me. Mm. Like this is I've tapped into this before. And she was like, I want to tap back into that again. Yeah. She's like, I want that space to be created again so that I can feel this part of myself that I haven't felt in a really long time. I think, I think I'm able to create that space because I'm so open. I'm a really open person. I want everyone to live and be their most authentic self. This yeah. world is so big. This universe is so big. Like, who am I to say that you weren't created that way, you know? So I want to highlight that way you were created and sure. whatever that means. And so, yeah, I'm going to get to know you the same way we sat down before this and just like shot the shit. Like, yeah. oh, I... I'm going to talk to you. First of all, this isn't rocket science. This isn't brain surgery. Like I didn't study this for years. Like this is a self-taught thing. Like this is, this is a feeling thing. This yeah. isn't technicalities. Don't ask me about my cameras. I don't like, I buy cam. I bought a camera at the store the other day for $35 at value world that I just did two shoots on one that was like for a wedding and they're beautiful. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Anything's going to create a really beautiful photo. Mm. 
if that space and that time is really beautiful. Yeah. And like, that's what I find to be the most important thing is like, it's about you. Like, yeah. this is about you. It's about that story. It's about, even if it's a brand, I'm going to take my knowledge, but I want to know about your brand. What is your story you're trying to share? Right. Like everything's a story and I'm trying to figure out the pieces to the story so that I can put it in the most beautiful chronological order and be mm -hmm. like, this is presentable now. Yeah. Um, no, that, that, that makes perfect sense. So, and you're, you're hitting what it is that I said. And like I said, I'm reiterating a lot of things <laughs> that you already said. So, um, w one of the things that, that I notice a ton and I, I can, I, I can speak from this from experience of, 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 uh, having a wife and, and kids being born, right? Like one of the things that was difficult, it seemed like was like that process of getting ready to go take photos, mm -hmm. um, coming out of having a baby in our family. Like there's a transition that happens just naturally when you have a child as yeah. a, as a mom, right? Like there's that piece that exists. And then also this, this, um, I'll call it a connotation that exists within the world of social media that you have to look a certain mm -hmm. way and you have to uh, pose a certain direction and be facing east when the sun <laughs> comes up and like like Pray all to Mecca. yeah no. exactly <laughs> all all of these things that you need to do in order to achieve the post that you're seeing every single mm -hmm. mom out there post yeah right and I see in the world of real estate too like the three piece suit the standing in front of your Lamborghini and all yeah. that stuff and like trying to accomplish what it is that somebody else is trying to right. create for in terms of persona because you, you're because to come back to this my guess is and i'm just assuming right there's there's the person that you talk to in new york right like i i realized that at the very end I, i'm i'm in my happy place kind of deal mm -hmm. and then my guess is is you're also having conversations with people in the midst of it and they're going i just don't like this i don't like that this mm, situation no, i don't give enough space for that no no okay I'm fast i okay. don't allow that to have space right on. i don't want to hear it because you're overthinking it now. This is, you're putting too much thought into something and that just should be fun. Yeah. Like we're, we're just here taking, like this one, for example, was D branding photos for a DJ company, but what had nothing to do with DJs. Like we were in Manhattan in Soho doing street style, like had literally nothing to do about DJing. It had everything to do about herself. Mm. And I think it was important for her to realize doing things for yourself sometimes allows you to step back into a feeling that you've once had where you're like, wait, I really liked that. And it wasn't me that didn't allow her to feel that from the get go. It was our own insecurities probably, or the things that are going on in her head, which is why I so frequently remind my clients, what are you thinking about? Yeah. Like, what are you actually processing? Cause I can tell that on your, on your face, your facial yeah. expressions are giving that out there. And so I think even like, let's say, your wife coming out of like having a baby and going to take a photo or in pregnancy wanting yeah. to take a photo, you know, those things. Like, I think it's, I would never talk about like, even like setting up that space and I'm entering that and being like, wow, we're about to take some really beautiful photos that now you get to show your child one day mm -hmm. and you get to say, I created you and this is you inside of me. And I felt so beautiful because this is something that's so weird and natural. When you start thinking about the fact that our bodies can produce children, like that, it's, it's wild. so weird to me. So I'm wild. like, oh, that's yeah. a crazy there's nature. A, there's right a here. that says that. He's like, have you made your own humans yet? <laughs> right. Like, it's weird. Like, it's just a weird thing. But how I would approach that would just be the reminder of why this space is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Why, like, why did you choose to create this? Like, I would want to know more of the story. Like, and then I would be able to start speaking in a way that makes you really comfortable. I'm probably going to like, if it's depending on where it's, I don't really bring music to photo shoots because I'm feel like I'm entertaining enough that music's not that involved, need to be involved. But maybe that's something you need. Maybe you need to have that song that just makes you feel really sexy yeah. or Maybe you need your friend there who like has the does the best job at hyping you up and you know that person will never let you down with details or like, hey, fix your face. Like, but it's it's about reminding them what we're here for. Like I had a client once who I did a maternity photo shoot for, and I think that in the space that she was in, based upon like who her husband was and um how they were in the public eye, it created a different mindset of what these images should look like and so then now your pressure of yourself you're putting on me yeah that's not fair like you can't put that pressure on me you hired me first of all because you like my style of stuff 
So if you look at my images and you're like, wow, this is really cool, then you should just trust me that I'm going to make something really cool for you yeah. because this is me. Like I am the constant medium of this. I am the one creating it. So it's going to be really cool. But when you start overly thinking about that perfect photo or showing me what someone else created, then you're taking away from me mm -hmm. creating for you. And I had to go take a moment to pull, rope us back in and be like, we are here celebrating the fact that you made a baby. Yeah. Like you have a little human inside of you right now and you're showing that love so that when this little human looks back on these photos of you, when they're old enough to comprehend they can see the joy that they that your their parents had in that moment saying i am so happy and i love this little thing so much i don't even yeah. know them yet you know and like to me that's so much more important that's timeless yeah not a perfect photo perfect photos aren't timeless that person's feelings that are being pulled through are what are timeless cuz you'll never forget conceiving a child you'll mm -hmm. never forget birthing your child you'll never forget your wedding day but how you felt on that day, you will always remember also. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's crazy. We're going deep. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, I One of the things that I hear you constantly saying is like your um, putting your artistic style and your um, uh, expertise, if you will, um, in this world on everything that you do. And we go way back. So we've known each other just for you guys who don't know. We've known each other for what, 15 years? Yeah, I think we met when we were like 16. Yeah, so 15, 16 years. We've yeah. known each other for a while. Um, and and this confidence that I've seen you grow into when it comes to uh, who you are now, how you view yourself, how you view your business because of how you view yourself, right? Like yeah. how you how you interact with your clients because of how you view yourself. Like coming back to that, and I, I'm, I'm specifically bringing this up because I, I, I know for sure there are people who listen to this because this is on YouTube. It's on all these other yeah. places. And like I know for sure there's people out there there's young Rory's who listen to this and there's young Alexandria Folsters out there who listen to this, not Alex's <laughs> who listen to this. Right. Um, and, and like for those people out there who haven't yet stepped into their confidence mm -hmm. that now you are, are blessed to be walking in on a consistent basis. What do you say to them? Hmm. I think, Oh, what do you say to them? I mean, first of all, Confidence is something that you choose. I think I think remembering everything is an internal issue until it's external. So mm. whatever feelings that we have going on, whether it's like, so confidence, I guess for me started with like, I wanted to be confident in my body because my body is what was torn down for my whole life. And I've always felt confident in my personality. But what I realized, it was never about my body. It was all about my internal thought process of myself. Mm. Somebody told me I had to think this particular way. Someone told me I had to look a particular way. Someone told me X, Y, and Z. And so eventually I took over that and said, I'm going to tell myself what I have to look like. I'm going to tell myself who I'm going to be. I am in charge, not mm -hmm. whoever else. This is my life. I only get one of them from what I know right now. I yeah. I think that there's life beyond this and I think that there's opportunity for whatever, but like, I know that right now, this is all I have. I don't want you to decide who I am. Like I have no desire for that. You get to be Rory and I get to be Allie and I'm going to step out into this world. And if you don't like it, there's 8 billion people out here. Yeah. Like take it or leave it. I think I just like finally got over this feeling like of needing to be accepted. Yeah. I finally just accepted myself. And like once that came, it was easier for other people to accept you because I looked in the mirror and I was like, damn, you're hot. I looked in the mirror and was like, wow, you are really intelligent. Like I, I changed my own narrative. And I think because of that, it has allowed me to step into this world in a way that like feels really good. Hmm. I don't care what anyone else has to say about me or think about me because it doesn't matter. You're not me. So go think about yourself. Yeah. Like literally do anything else, but think about me. Yeah. Because the more energy you put internally, the better you are going to show up externally. And like, I know the only thing in this world I can control is the way I treat others. That's, that's huge. And one, here's the thing with that is when you start walking in confidence of who it is that you actually are and who it is that you want to be reality is, is people just start showing up and they want to be around you. Yeah. They and like, they, you're, you're so cool. And I'm like, I had a, I worked at a bar and this person, oh my God, I heard so many compliments, like my hair, my outfit, like they yeah. were going on. I go, 
you know the best way to be me is be you. Yeah. I, and I left the table. I was like, I'm hmm. so uncomfortable. The best way to be me is just to be you. That's all I'm doing out this in this world. I'm just being yeah. me. Yeah. So go be you. And people will love that mm -hmm. because you're just showing up as you in the most beautiful way you were created. I believe in a creator. They yeah. didn't make mistakes. Like, so live in that confidence and walk in it because that's all I'm choosing to do. Like, I'm just being me. It's yeah. weird. It's goofy. It's playful. It's, it's all of these things. And it's just trying to survive at this point, you know? And like you said earlier, <laughs> thrive, but like yeah. thriving comes after, you know, feeling confident and, and safe in all aspects of life. I think safety is the baseline of, of us showing up. Right. Yeah. You know, if I create a safe space, they're going to show up as himself more safely. You know, like we have a lot of boundaries up. we have a lot of guards. This world's really crappy. Like it's really crappy. And that's scary. But if you are at least like no good people, like there are, there are a lot of good people out here. Yeah. More than not, you know, right. right. The media highlights the not. And I don't focus on that. Right. I literally don't know the last time I watched a news casting in my <laughs> last it's four years. Like yeah. I literally no idea yeah. because I can't control that. What can I control? My surroundings. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing to me. Yeah. And with that being said, if you are surrounded by people who are not encouraging you and helping you to grow, find a new community. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> find yourself a new community and run with people who want to run with you and want to see you be successful. Yeah. Not even just successful, but happy. I mean, shoot. Yeah. Who bring you good energy in that space. Yeah. Who bring you joy in that space and vice versa. Like yep. the way, to, how do they speak to you? What mm -hmm. is the words they're putting in your brain? Words hurt, man. Like oh, yeah. that saying growing up, stick and, sticks and stones can break your bones or words never hurt you. Words hurt me worse than bones that ever broken would be. Yeah. Like, and that's the stuff we have to go work through as adults or as children or sure. fill in the blank. Like think about your words. Think about how you speak to yourself. I yeah. do not speak poorly about myself. There's nothing bad to say. Like I heard enough of it my whole life that like eventually someone had to start speaking like good into my brain, you know, neuroplasticity is real. So those are all the things that I have to do for myself to be able to show up for somebody else and say, now you do it. Yeah. Like you, you come be vulnerable. You come put yourself in, like being in front of a camera is uncomfortable. You you don't know what's happening. You don't know what I'm seeing on my side of things. So if I don't tell you, hey, this is a tight shot on this one. So I'm really like, this is about your face right now. Or hey, like show movement or move your chin down a little bit. Or I'm the only one who knows what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And so that's important for me to be able to direct that. But that's not like really what it's all about. Like, yeah. I want to move with you. I want to feel you. I want to like run around and do whatever it means and create something that's unique and and not what everyone else is doing. I don't want to yeah. be like everyone else. And I think that's the point is like, if I don't want to be, I don't want my clients either. So I'm going to create something for you that makes you stand out amongst the crowd. And the same way you want to go be the top in the realtors, like I want to be the top at what I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means necessarily in this creative industry. There's so many different aspects. You can go like work in this world, but I want to be the best me I can be. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Right. Right. And not even to the point of comparing yourself to anybody else. At this right. Because right? I like, don't like, yeah. I really don't. Because there's this like leveling of like, okay, well, where I'm at in comparison to the, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah, like and I, that's something that I've struggled with too on a, on a consistent basis of going like, okay, where am I at when it comes to the sales side of things? And like, where, where am I at when it comes to like spending time with my family in comparison to other people and yeah. all of those different things. Right. And it's, 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 Part of it is social media. I think social media, one of the I best. I I didn't have to be on social media. <laughs> I do too. One of the best things that exists on social media is a button that says unfollow. Yeah. And 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 it's not out of disrespect. There's a lot of real estate agents that I plain on just don't follow or just yeah. people in general. I'm really not a person who follows photographers much either. Unless yeah. I like have had a relationship with you or I generally think your work's dope because I'm pretty picky on that stuff. Sure. I don't really want photographer friends around. Like, I don't mm -hmm. want to feel the need that I have to. They're not going to ask you to take pictures. <laughs> right. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to feel as if what you're doing is better than what I'm doing or what I'm doing is better than what you're doing. I really don't even look at like other artists in any other industry, like, and compare myself to that or look at them as an icon or idolize yeah. what they're doing. Like, that just really has never been my MO in life. I just, I want to show my perspective of this sure. world. Like this is my viewpoint. You have your viewpoint. And I think it's really beautiful that you're capturing and sharing it, but it's not about what I'm doing. And it's not about what you're doing. Like just do you, like I've had this person who's like come and message me my DMS complimenting my work. And recently was like, 
bummed that I never got back to him. And he was like, I could be helping you. And I was like, I never asked for your help. Yeah. I don't want, I don't, first of all, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. So what does your help even make a difference to me? Yeah. Secondly, don't give help unless someone has asked for help. And third, that's an assumption that, that I'm beyond what I understood. You know, I was just like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like I, I'm doing me. If you find inspiration here, that's really beautiful. And I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. But I, I don't need anything else beyond that. And I don't need that. Like, I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I have <laughs> yeah. to say. Like, I don't know you. So <laughs> what's going to make a difference? You can help me. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. That one got me a little worked up. But that's, super that's all good. That's all good. Um, anybody out there, Allie, who is like, hey, I, I would love to have a conversation about booking with you. I would love to get an idea on your pricing, things like yeah. that. I know there's the website and that's been scrolling across the screen the entire time. Um, is That is the best place for them to reach out to, correct? You can do a website. You can do social Instagram. I would say those are like the two. Email me. I feel like you're going to get, either way, I'm going to reply to you right away. We're probably yeah. going to end up being in a phone call. Unless you're saying, hey, do you, I'm gonna, I can help you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, genuinely, I was like, are you flirting with me? Because he's like, you're ignoring me. And I was like, well, if you're, he's like, I'm leaving you in compliments. And I was like, then you shouldn't expect anything in return yeah. if you're complimenting. Like, right. sir, I don't owe you anything. Right. Why are you in my messages? Like this? Yeah. People are wild. <laughs> but anywho, I was at Instagram, which is also at Alexander Folster. I think that's a great place to get an understanding of my personality. I share myself on there. My, so, my stories are more my life, personal life. You get to see I work at a horse barn three days a week. You get to see that I'm, I work literally like five different jobs. Like I'm out here moving and grooving. Like yeah. I'm easily contactable. I'm ready to work. Like I would love to create stories and tell someone's story and whatever means that is I'm, I don't have a boundary on what I can create in the terms of like, I'm not just this. Like I say I'm a fashion photographer because I started in fashion. I worked in LA and moved my way to New York and I really get fashion. I love fashion, but I also love humans. And that's yeah. really what it's mostly about. And how can I create different art with humans and make them feel timeless in their own aspects? You know, I work with mainly everyday people. I wouldn't say I'm a model photographer. Working with models is fun. We're both doing our job. So yeah. like that means that your stuff's going to be really, really cool because we're both working. But I, I love, I, for a long time, I claimed myself as your everyday moments paparazzi because that's really what I'm trying to capture your everyday moments. I'll be your paparazzi for it. And like, Hey, look over here. Like it's going to be fun. It's not going to be like, this is about you. Like yeah. I want you to feel really special and I can direct someone who's never been in front of the camera. My favorite client is someone who says, I don't really know what I'm doing or I'm really uncomfortable. I'm like, let me prove you wrong. Like this isn't scary. It doesn't have to be scary. It really depends on who you hire as a photographer of how you're going to feel. For sure. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's a great, that's a great way to put it. Who you hire as a photographer is how you're going to feel. Yeah. I love it. For those of you who are interested, it, actually, I'm going to encourage all of you guys, go check out Allie's website, alexandriafolster.com. There's all kinds of really cool photos on there. You can actually buy some of the photos as well. Or is that yeah. is that right on that website? I think there is an area in which you can. Have okay. I sold a photo from there? No. no. But you know, so, I do have, some, first one. Due to I this do have some really beautiful like oh, New York landscape photos. Those are what I think are up there. Just like different right like landscape sort of images that I've enjoyed i think of some water reflections you okay know? nothing that's really like human based i mean sure i feel like eventually i do love fashion week street style and i would love for those photos to kind of get put up on walls at one point but stay tuned <laughs> right on <laughs> but go out and check out her website book a showing with her book a uh, uh um yeah uh, book a showing with me i'm gonna yeah. sell your next house yeah there you go book a uh <laughs> I'm taking Rory's a job. shoot with her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, book a shoot with her and, and check out some of the stuff that she does on her website. Um, so thankful to have me on. Yeah. Thank you for having me. This was really fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll have to figure out doing it again some other time. Yeah. I'll too. talk to you about a different business. Yeah. There we go. We'll come up with one. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Just on the fly. On the fly. So thankful for you guys checking out today's episode of Tuesdays with Rory. You guys all have a 